Hytale, one of the most anticipated and promising games of this generation. But now, as of today, this revolutionary game, after many delays, oh, and I mean many delays, four delays, Hypixel. Like I was saying, this amazing game, after absolutely zero delays, is coming out somewhere after 2023. It's undeniable at this point that Hytale has sparked a new generation of gamers, YouTubers, artists, theorists, and enthusiasts, and many more. But hear me out, Hytale has been behind the curtains for five years now, and hasn't been released since then. And within the Hytale community, people have come and gone, especially with the recent delays. Some people stayed, and others moved on. There might be some YouTubers you've never heard of who were huge figures in the Hytale community, but eventually stopped creating Hytale-related stuff altogether. Keeping big YouTubers aside, I'm here to talk about those very people that were on the Hytale train for quite a while, but eventually faded. Hi everyone, it's Pixels, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about Hytale, its progress, and potential release. A YouTuber by the channel name Pixels started out as a pure Hytale YouTuber, with a bit of Cube World videos here and there. Her videos, by community standards, were pretty popular. Even Canadian Flash himself acknowledged this. Pixels used to cover various Hytale topics and theories, but since November 13th, 2019, Pixels went silent. No new videos, no nothing. Even since a while ago, at the peak of Hytale's hype, before the delay of course, still no video or heads up from Pixels. I even tried emailing Pixels to find out what was the exact reason she climbed out of the Hytale train. Despite Hytale's community rapidly growing and getting hyped for the big release, but got no response. It was all quiet. Only Pixels herself now knows why she left the community, and we can all hope she hops back on the Hytale train in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. Before continuing to the second creator, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, which is pretty weird. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want, it means a lot, and you can always unsubscribe later. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Expect when it comes to Hytale's combat. One major thing we'll need to look at in order to understand Hytale's combat is what happens when you die. A YouTuber called Fierce Toast was also a prominent Hytale YouTuber at the time. His videos were very popular. He was among some of the new upcoming Hytale YouTubers alongside me in 2021, before the eventual delay of course. He was also a friend of mine. He has made many Hytale informative videos and Hytale comedy videos throughout his lifetime. But after a short amount of time, mostly because of the overwhelming 2023 Hytale delay, which shook the Hytale community to the core, his videos were nowhere to be found. In Hytale's golden age, his videos started getting peak popularity. His newest videos were even showcased in the community event Hytale Create-a-thon, shown to hundreds of people across the entire Hytale community. But since a while ago, Fierce Toast as a Hytale YouTuber vanished from YouTube, with only him remaining active on Twitter with off-topic political motivations. Well, hello everyone! It's Miss Willow here, and today I wanted to share some of my thoughts and feelings about something. A game called Hytale. A game that isn't released yet, but one I've been extremely excited about for a long time. Miss Willow, an aspiring artist, was one of the greats of the Hytale community. A creator alongside the biggest Hytale YouTubers in history, including Canadian Flash, Quebec Corner, Mr. Passion, and more. She made her name in the Hytale circle with her art, as well as making many Hytale videos, the informative ones, and also on other topics, along with collaborations with many big Hytale YouTubers in the community. There's also a facts video I did on Miss Willow, if you want you can check that out. However, after a relatively small period of time outside the scope of the delay, her videos suddenly vanished. 
My rough memory suggests it was some sort of YouTube violation, like copyright, but I don't think so. A part of me remembers it was Miss Willow's intentional decision to delete all her videos. At the end of the day, Miss Willow holds the answer to that. Until today, she's been active on art content recently, leaving the high tail train probably for now. These are just a few examples of dead YouTubers in the high tail space. Much we had to sacrifice in the wait for high tail. Some people stayed, others moved on, and we as an open community, we should be happy for them. But at the same time, we must hope that others remain hopeful and not leave high tail for good, you know, because it's, it's only starting to get good. Anyways, that's it from me. Be sure to like and subscribe, Discord and Twitter in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.